All right, hey everybody, this is John with Dead Drift Outdoors. I'm all bundled up because it is pretty chilly out. It is late March. We uh, had a cold front come through last night and dropped the temperatures down in the 20s. Today we're getting back up towards 30, hopefully getting above freezing. It's a little bit of a north wind blowing, a little bit of snow, uh, but still really beautiful out. So it's still nice to enjoy these, these uh, late winter days and hopefully the brookies will cooperate. I got out yesterday, it was much warmer, but didn't have much success. Got one nice brookie, but that was in about four or five hours of fishing. So changed watersheds, another small brook trout stream today, and hopefully we'll, we'll find some more active fish and bring you guys along as always, because I've been itching to make another video for you guys. So let's get to it and get fishing. All right, so the plan today is hiking in along a, a road here. I'm parked up a ways. I'm gonna hike downstream and then fish all the way back up to my truck. It's about, a, I don't know, maybe close to a mile, three quarters of a mile at least. All right, getting down to the creek here. Had a nice little little hike down here. Warmed up nicely. My fingertips are coming back to me. So, I got high hopes. It's feeling like a trouty day. All right. Hole number one. And there's a fish. Just a little one, but hey, that was my second cast. I'm liking it. Heck yeah. All right. Just the second cast of the day. Just a little brookie, but hey, really good sign. We'll let this guy right go. That is awesome. Warm me right up. There it is. Come here, buddy. All right, switched up to a heavier nymph and uh, paid off. Beautiful. That's a quality fish right there. Look at this guy. Just a gem right there. Fat little guy. Oh. All right. You hit on the second, the second drift. All right, another nice trout. Look at that, look at that white belly. Beautiful.
Nice brookie. What brookie isn't nice? <laughs> nice fish. there had to be another fish up in that culvert <laughs> there we go just a little one but hey that was worth casting up there come here little guy you are slick there you go <laughs> fat little belly on that guy Right. Whoo, working hard for some brookies. Really small water up here. Not a lot of easy pools. But hey, paid off with another nice brookie. Way up in this little tiny stream. Well, I've spent many hours fishing today. Not a lot of fish, missed a couple really nice ones. And uh, this might be the reward, this culvert pool. I didn't know it was up here. But man, this is by and away the nicest looking hole in a long ways. So I'm sure there's multiple fish in here. There's a fish, nice, oh, that was a nice trout. Man, that was nice. Uh, oh, man, that's a big fish. Holy moly. All right, so I just regrouped after missing two or three fish. One was a really nice brookie. So I just gave it about 10 minutes, retied my setup. Went with a little different nymph. Just went with a little. Little hair's ear. I don't think it's going to matter much, but man, there's some good fish in here, I think. Whew, see if we can land one. There's one. I think he ate the dry. All right, <laughs> I think I left my net down below. <laughs> Go grab it. Oh yeah, nice brookie on the dry, look at that. There he goes, I'm just gonna let him go right here. All right, well I lied, my net's here, it was just frozen on my back. This is how you know it's chilly. <laughs> just frozen. Temps are definitely dropping, but I think these fish are hungry. All right, Let's see if we can get a bigger one out of here. There we go. That's a good one. That's a nice brookie. Let's see if we can get this guy in. Come here, buddy. Yeah. All right. Definitely fish of the day right there. Woo Heck yeah, I am so excited. Oh, I worked really hard for this fish. 
Oh, just a nice solid brookie. Look at that fish. Wow. Heck yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> I am so pumped. All right, I'm just gonna let this big guy go. All right, one more look at this brookie. I'm gonna let him go right here in the tail. There he goes. I don't wanna spook the, the pool, but man, he just headed right back up there. Just hanging right there. Woohoo! All right, well, I've gotten two out of this hole. I've missed at least two on the dry fly. Dry fly. Hooked a big one on a nymph. There's at least another couple fish in here, so I just redid my setup. I've got a really small, well, relatively small, I'll save her uh, white wolf. And then I've got about, eh, about 28 inches down to this really sparse prince. It doesn't have the bite, the, the white on it, just a couple pieces of flash. Very simple fly, so. I let the fish rest a little bit, now we'll hit him with this. There we go. He ate the nymph, that's a good fish. Oh man, where's my net? Oh baby. Oh, beautiful male. Nice. What a fool this is. Oh, look at this male with the big hook jaw. Oh yeah. What a payoff for a long day. What a payoff. All right guys, well, that was quite an afternoon. I uh, had some success early, got a couple fish, and then really worked for it. Missed some fish, covered a lot of ground, and uh, ended up way up here. I've never fished this far up. And surprisingly, missed a couple nice fish in some really skinny water, but finally came out to this culvert hole, and what a reward for putting in the time. I was really wondering if it was worth walking all the way up here, but man, it paid off. I got three, I think, really nice brookies out of that last hole, and, uh, just a whole lot of fun and what a reward. But hope you guys enjoyed the video today. It was a gorgeous day. Uh, the winter's almost over. Spring is just around the corner. So I'm really excited to be getting out here and making more videos for you guys. But don't forget, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.